Hello and welcome back to Supernova's 101 series. In today's tutorial, we'll walk through how to import Figma variables with Supernova's Figma Variable Sync plugin. We'll also explore its advanced functionality of mode and brand mapping. Let's dive in. First, head to the Figma community or go to the plugin option within the Figma file that holds your variables to install the Supernova Figma Variable Sync plugin. You can find a link for it in the video description below. Once installed, open the plugin in Figma and log in to your Supernova account. If you don't have one, you can sign up for free at supernova.io. After logging in, choose the Supernova workspace where you want to import your Figma variables. All set, let's find out how you can import your variables to Supernova. To import your variables, select the collections you want to import. The plugin will automatically sync the following. All variables from selected collections, variables from other collections, and if there is a cross-collection aliasing, the plugin will automatically select them and indicate it with this label. All modes from selected collections, converting them into themes in Supernova, group, description, and code syntax. It is also possible to import reference variables from different Figma files. If a variable's value is aliased to a variable from a different file, when you import the other file, they will be linked. Once satisfied with your selection, just click Push to Supernova. The sync process typically takes just a few seconds. When finished, navigate to the token section in your Supernova design system. There, you'll find your imported Figma variables neatly organized as design tokens, complete with their values, aliases, descriptions, and even code syntaxes. A powerful feature of Supernova's Figma variable sync plugin is brand mapping. This functionality allows you to map different Figma modes to specific brands in Supernova, a useful tool for teams with brand management enabled. Additionally, you can also define which mode serves as your default value, as tokens in Supernova always require a base value. This approach is particularly helpful when you want to preserve the mode name in Supernova. Let's see how we can set things up. First, ensure your brands are enabled in Supernova to view them in the plugin. From the drop-down menu, select the corresponding Supernova brand where you want to import your modes to. Open the collection that contains your modes and select which ones you want to import. Click Push to Supernova to complete the process. This method ensures your variable modes are properly organized by brand in Supernova. Congratulations! You've successfully imported your Figma variables into Supernova using the Variable Sync plugin. Remember, you can always update your variables in Figma and use the plugin to push these changes to Supernova, ensuring your design system stays up to date. Stay tuned for our next Supernova 101 episode. Till then, happy designing!